Hi, everyone. Ryan Smiley, Associate Portfolio Manager here at Love Financial. I hope everyone's having a fantastic start to 2024. In today's advisor video, I'm going to go over two things. First, I'm going to take a look back at 2023, the year we just had. And then second, I'm just going to provide a reminder about RSP contribution limits and deadlines as we enter a new calendar year. In an effort to overemphasize the importance of not getting caught up in daily, weekly, or monthly headlines, I'm going to run through some of the headlines in 2023 that caused the markets to move severely both to the upside and the downside. We kicked off 2023 with China ending their zero COVID policy, which caused widespread optimism that 2023 was going to be a great year. But hold up. Now we have regional bank turmoil in Silicon Valley, and now people are wondering if this issue is widespread and if their money is safe. The issue in regional banks is quickly overshadowed by AI hype, NVIDIA earnings, and the slowing of inflation data, which causes markets to bounce back up. But uh uh-oh, now we're hit with the head fake of a spike in inflation and fears that rate hikes might not be over. But good thing that was just a head fake because inflation data finishes the year on a downward trajectory and central banks hint they will likely drop interest rates by the end of the 2024 calendar year. The net result of all these events is a very positive year in 2023. Although 2023 may have been volatile, it serves as a reminder that each year has several short-term spurts where returns vary depending on knee-jerk reactions to events and announcements. But when it comes to long-term investing in quality companies, patience is usually rewarded. If we take a look at 2023 performance versus 2022 performance, of various market measures. Whether you look at the top 100 non-financial companies in America, the Canadian bond market, or a balanced 60-40 portfolio, similar to a pension portfolio, individuals who stayed committed to their long-term investment objectives in 2023 were rewarded for their patience. If we take a deeper look at 2023 returns, we can see that a significant portion of returns came in the fourth quarter the last three months of 2023 which tested the patience of many investors. For example, if you look at the Canadian bond index, so Canadian bondholders experienced a negative return up until the fourth quarter of 2023 when they saw their returns shoot up 8.2% in the last three months. In 2022 and 2023, many of the financial headlines have related to either inflation or interest rates. These two topics are joined at the hip because central banks will only stop raising rates when inflation is under control. As we head into 2024, the consensus is that rates have peaked for this rate hiking cycle. Why is this? If we take a look at US inflation, it isn't quite down to the target of 2%, but we're getting close. And with most measures of inflation, Canada and the US ending 2023 between 2.5 and 3.5%, central banks will be looking to hold rates and potentially drop them unless there is drastic change in inflation in the coming year. Now that we're into 2024, what are some things we should be thinking about? If we have money in our non-registered account or a checking account, we might want to think about topping up our TFSA account with the new contribution limit of 7,000. And we also might want to think about maximizing use of our RRSP accounts. And the deadline for that this year is February 29th. If we take a more detailed look at TFSA contribution limits, the TFSA new contribution limit has increased to $7,000 in 2024. The cumulative TFSA limit for individuals who have been eligible since inception is now up to a total contribution limit of 95,000. If you wanna check your eligible contribution limit, you can do so through your online CRA account. But if you do so, please note that the CRA account is usually one year behind or at least a few months. So you wanna check to make sure how much you contributed to TFSAs in 2023 to make sure that uh, you do not over contribute in 2024. RRSP contribution limits accumulate over time and are based on 18% of earned income up to an annual limit. In 2023, the annual accumulation limit was 30,780. 
Depending on your tax situation and employment situation, you may want to talk to your advisor about making a lump sum deposit, especially if you're in the last few years of full-time employment. You can check your total RSP contribution limit by logging into your CRA account or checking your most recent notice assessment. The contribution deadline is February 29th, 2024 for the 2023 tax year. And if you plan on making a contribution this year, please don't leave it to the last minute. Please get that money in as soon as possible. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. In our next video, one of our lead portfolio managers, Elvis Picardo, will go into more detail about 2023 market conditions and how they affected your portfolios and your performance. If you have any questions about this video or anything related to your accounts, please don't hesitate to reach out to our office and our team here at Love Financial. Thank you very much and have a great day.